Brothers Patriot back with another video here. Today we have a Hungarian battlefield pickup rifle by Lee Armory. Um, the deal with this gun is it is supposed to be a battlefield uh, worn look uh, built on a Morrissey receiver with a new American barrel, uh, nitride barrel. Um, everything else is off of a Hungarian uh, parts kit. Um, I will say when I first got this gun out of the box um, two days ago, the finish was terrible. Very little effort went into uh, making it look actually like a like a worn battlefield pickup, sort of like those Wazer contractors. Uh, the furniture that was on it was really bad. Um, not, that was the most battlefield thing about it. Uh, the metal looked like it was sanded with... Uh, too, too uh, low a grit sandpaper so there was visible scratch marks trying to make it worn it didn't work um, so I went in with elbow grease and scotch bright pads and made it uh, look better the uh, again this is the stock that came on the rifle uh, it looks like there's moss growing on it the dog won't even eat it so that's saying something <laughs> But um, I don't want to bash them too hard on the furniture. They said it's Battlefield pickup, and it looks like, well, Battlefield neglected. Uh, if this was picked up on the Battlefield, it would have been something picked up maybe 20 years after the, uh, the war, as far as that furniture goes, or a conflict. Um, so, yeah, this is the furniture I refinished. Um, there are a few gripes I have on the gun overall. Uh, I don't I don't know that it's worth the nine hundred dollars that I paid for it. Um, don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful rifle, and I do love it. And I I don't necessarily regret the decision, um, but I think you could do better. You could do you could buy a Wazer and do it yourself, as far as battlefield pickup goes. Polish it, but um, everything's straight. You know, it's it feels great in your hand. Um, besides for the Super shitty um, bake like grip that came on it. There's fibers hanging out of it, but that's another story. Um, the um, the hand flushed rivets are great. They did a great job. They they put a lot of detail and and making sure that the fit um, was perfect, and it is. No complaints there, as to be expected. It's you know if you're gonna sell a rifle for nine hundred dollars, you better get things right. Um, that push button's a little finicky, super stiff, doesn't work like it's supposed to work, but it is functional. Um, I think it might get better with time, so we'll see. Uh, again with the the grip. <laughs> um, so guys, sorry if I sound sick. I am a little sick. Uh, I drank too much beer last night and I'm paying for it. Um, so back to the rifle. Uh, let's see, where are we? Where are we? The gas tube, it wobbles. It's, uh, I'm not pushing that hard at all, so it's going to be flying all around. I don't think it's going to bother the function of the gun. It's not going to affect how the gun uh, operates, but it is annoying. Like I said, a $900 rifle. I expect a, a tight fit there. Um, Front sights pinned in perfectly, nothing going on there. Rear sights pinned up perfectly, nothing going on there. Everything's as should be. Um, safety, it's a little bit stiff. It's I'm not complaining about it. It's fine with me. Um, just pointing it out. The um, the highlight of this rifle is this right here for me. They, they went in and they polished up the hammer and the, uh, the slides on, on the Morrissey receiver. So it's like butter. Um, everything's straight, no cant. Uh, back to the action. I've owned an Arsenal SLR 107FR and th this action is just as smooth, if not smoother. Uh, and the, great, the gun feels great in your hand. Um, there's the dust cover I'm telling you about. It's just, it shouldn't be on there that tight. Um, the the bolt is is good to go. I don't. There's nothing wrong. A little bit of wear, no tear. It will function flawlessly. I'm sure. I hope. 
Um, again, the inside of this Morrissey receiver, there's no, uh, there's no tool marks. Everything's polished up, um, and you know that is quality. You can't. It's hard to beat that. You, you buy a Century gun. Um, it's you're gonna have to deal with the inside of the receiver to get the gun to be smooth like that. But these guys went in and did it for you. So uh, kudos to them. Still don't know if it's worth nine hundred dollars, but we'll go uh, check it out at the range and. Um, that ought to give us a good answer, so stay tuned. Okay, guys, so we made it out to the range. Um, a few things about this rifle that um, I mentioned the dust cover didn't fit right. Uh, something was off about it, and I figured out what it was. Um, after I had fired, I dumped 30 rounds out of the first, very first magazine. The dust cover, I noticed, was shifting back and forth uh, from front to rear. As you see in this picture, it's seated forward, um, in, in which case it comes unnotched from that front hinge uh, type deal, and it actually was uh, flopping up and down as I was shooting the rifle. So uh, that's broken, straight up, flat out broken. Um, and, and I haven't done anything to the gun to make it do that. It was shipped to me like that. Um, other than that, the, uh, the rifle fired well. I had no... Um, Failure to feeds, everything ran very smoothly. Um, let me think, let me think. Uh, the trigger had a little bit of a weird creep to it. You get about three quarters till it uh, fires and it starts uh, getting a, a bit crunchy. I'm not sure if that's a G2 thing or not, but that did happen. Um, pretty accurate. We didn't bring our uh, range finder to the range. We just wanted to um, let it rip and see what would happen. I will say that if uh, AK's operator union uh, or Rob's uh, Sky over there got a hold of this gun, this particular gun from Lee Armory, it would be broken very quickly. Um, just fitment um, and all that. It's, it was, it's not where it needs to be for a $900 rifle. Uh, I need to email Lee Armory and let them know I've had issues with this particular brand new rifle, but um, I haven't done that yet. I will do that. Function function flawlessly though. Uh, other than that, not not very impressed for a $900 rifle. Uh, that's all I got for this one, boys and girls. I'll see y'all.